Hello wrestling fans, we're the Hills Maniacs, and in today's video we are going to be giving our predictions of NXT TakeOver Stand and Deliver, the first two-day NXT, so it's the biggest NXT pay-per-view they've ever had, and uh, we're going to give our thoughts on what we think is going to happen. We're going to start with night, uh, the rundown of night one, and then we'll do night two. Let's get into it. So we'll start with the random match that was added this past Wednesday on NXT during the Battle Royal that they did. Pete Dunne versus Kushida. Um, I think this is going to be a fun match. I just don't think it's going to be... It's not going to be like one of it's the longest matches. Either. But um, it, I think it's probably going to be the opener to day one. That's why I'm yeah. picking it first to talk about. But uh, I think uh, Pete Dunne is probably going to win. I, I don't really care. It doesn't really matter, I guess. Is, unless it builds into like a title match or something for right. one of these two down the road but i think it'll be a fun match but i think pete dunn's gonna win uh yeah i picked kushida to win uh just because you know the the way they've been building it it seems like pete dunn has the momentum and usually the people with the momentum going into matches usually ends up losing uh and i think pete dunn is technically the heel and kushida would yeah. be the baby face so uh, I think Kushida will finally beat Pete Dunne. Uh, it might be a good match, but it's kind of random and pointless. But, you know, who knows? Maybe it will lead to something. So, yeah. uh, the next match we'll talk about is the Tag Team Championship Triple Threat Match for the vacated NXT Tag Team Championships. The, the title's <laughs> currently owned by the Vacant Brothers. Yes. Uh, this match features the Grizzled Young Veterans versus the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic winners, MSK, versus Legato Del Fantasma, uh, which I believe, if I'm remembering correctly, uh, the Grizzled Young Veterans and MSK were obviously the two final teams in the Dusty Cup. They were, yeah. And MSK, teams. I believe, beat Legato Del Fantasma. So that kind of makes sense. To get sense. there, so that explains yeah. why. See, I didn't catch that. I didn't yeah. catch that at first oh, until you just said it now. But uh, I, like, I didn't know why they were picking right. these. Obviously, MSK should be in the match. Right, because they know won. Why they, they, were picking... they were technically number yeah. one contenders and probably should have been awarded the titles like they did with Dakota Kai and Raquel Gonzalez with the women's tag team titles. But uh, MSK, uh, Grizzled Young Veterans. Yeah. Legato Del Fantasma, I'm picking MSK because they were number one contenders anyways, and I feel like they would have beat Oni Lorcan and Danny Birch had they had the opportunity to actually fight them. I think so, was one of them injured too, and that's why they haven't gotten the title so. shot yet. Yeah. And now they they came back this yeah. past week on NXT. So yeah. yeah something like that. Yeah. yeah, I'm picking MSK as well. I want to see them as champions, and they pretty much They're ran good. through. Oh, they are. They were good in TNA, too. I forget what they were called in TNA, but when they were there, I did enjoy them, and I was surprised to see them come to NXT. So, I I mean, since they dominated that tournament, like, they, they beat every team, every major team in NXT, right. pretty much. I mean, obviously not on their own, because other teams had to win. Right. But, I mean, they still beat they won pretty the, much the every team yeah. on the roster. Every team they had to face, they beat. Yeah. Um, and, you know, you get, you get a team like the Grizzled Young Veterans, the former UK Tag Team Champions, Right. Uh, and you throw them in against MSK, who is this great tag team, you know, and you add in Legato Del Fantasma, who's not bad as a tag team. They're just, they haven't really been promoted as like a main team. They seem more you like know, the sidekicks. They're side more like the sidekicks yeah. of Santos Escobar. Right. But, uh, I mean, I think it'll be a good match. Uh, and MSK, I think, would be perfect for being the new tag team champion. And who knows if Birch and Lorcan, when they come back, they could get their rematch against MSK. That would be a good match, I think, because it would have been a good match yeah. had they got to do it in the mm -hmm. first place. Next up is the gauntlet. It's called the gauntlet eliminator, but it's a gauntlet match. So, it's to yeah. determine who will challenge Johnny Gargano in night two of NXT TakeOver Stand and Deliver. Right. Uh, uh, for basically, the title, for the North American Championship. If you watched this past week on NXT, they did a battle royal, uh, which had, I think, 11 people in it, and the final six would move on to a gauntlet match and the winner fights Johnny for the North American title on night two. So it came down to Leon Ruff versus Isaiah Swerve Scott, uh, Bronson Reed, Cameron Grimes, Dexter Loomis, and L.A. Knight. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so who'd you, who'd you pick? I for? think 
Who would I win? think Dexter Loomis is going to win this uh, gauntlet match and go on to face Johnny because they've pretty much been building up, you know, uh, him fighting yeah. Johnny. He's been tormenting Johnny and his uh, Austin Theory and Candice and Indy for a while. So I'm I honestly think, surprised they didn't just give him. Yeah, the I show thought they would have just done that, but. If they're going to have him do that, then beating some top some top guys. Not everyone in this match is a top guy, but I think I think this will be a fun match. But I definitely think Dexter Loomis is going to win. Yeah. Um. See, I was I was down to Dexter Loomis and L. A. Knight. Yeah. Um. Because L. A. Knight. You know, I'd I'd like to see him him win the title, but I think it's too early for him, and that's why I picked Dexter Loomis. Uh, mm-hmm. But Bronson Reed, I think, will be a big threat uh, in oh, this match. Oh, for sure, because he's and, the bi- you know, like the biggest one in he's there. He's entering number three in the gauntlet because yeah. they they base the once it goes down to the final six in the battle royal, then the the order they got eliminated in is the order that they're coming out in in the gauntlet match. It was a whole confusing process. But uh, Bronson Reed, you know, he's obviously going to go through either Leon Roth or Isaiah Swerve Scott, whoever's left. When yeah. he gets in there, he'll he'll beat Cameron Grimes easily, probably. Uh, and he'll then it'll be then it'll be Bronson Reed win. versus Dexter Loomis, and that's where it gets interesting because the winner of that that's goes on to t- face. That's going to be a hard fight for LA Dexter, Knight, I think. So. Like given as big as Dexter is, yeah, I think it's going to be hard for him to beat um, Bronson Reed, but I do think he will, and then he'll go yes. on to face LA Knight, LA Knight and then yeah. win and fight Johnny on night two. Uh, I agree that Dexter Loomis will win, but again, Dexter, L.A. Knight, or Bronson Reed, all of them Any would be one good of those, for, yeah, that'd be a good for fight. fighting Johnny Gargano. So let's move on to the next match. It is the U.K. Championship match, the United Kingdom Championship. Mm-hmm. It has the champion Walter defending against, ready for this, Tommaso Ciampa. Uh, yeah. I'm picking Ciampa to win. Me too. Um, I think Walter's held the title long enough. I don't know what's going on in UK. I don't watch the yeah, NXT UK. Yeah, I don't either. Uh, but I, who knows? Maybe I will. And maybe this will be their way of promoting NXT UK. Maybe that's like why they're having Champa. Thing, you know, sort of. and it begs the question, where's he going to fight? Is he going to stay on UK? Is he going to do both? Is he just going to be on NXT but also defend the, the UK title on, right. you know, against UK stars? You know, and, and like I said, maybe this is their way of promoting it, like they did with Charlotte when she won the NXT Women's Championship, you she know, to, to kind of promote SmackDown. NXT yeah. a little bit by having right. a main star win the title, so that could be how they get uh, UK more viewership, because you have Tommaso Ciampa, one of the big stars from NXT, winning the championship. Uh, I think it'll be a good match. Uh, I just oh, don't know sure, why but... Ciampa, but... Hey, you know, what, what it's I, something different. What I'm curious so. about is why the, why nobody in NXT UK can beat Walter. Right. How many people has he defended against? Why can't they beat? Is right. I guess there's nobody as big as Walter in NXT UK. So maybe that's like you said. Maybe this is like a thing where it'll sort of transition into Champa being on both shows or something or whatever. Or it'll be like a he's kind of mocking NXT UK by right. being the champion. And it's just like when someone who's them. not from America wins like the United States title, right. and then they're like, "We've seen it in the past before." Like, like they, they make fun of the U.S. or Russo, or they kind or... of mock what being the U.S. champion yeah. is all about, and then that person from the U.S. like has to be the one to, to beat to them. beat them for yeah. yeah. So it's yeah. something like so. that. So maybe that's what this will turn into. Like everyone from the U.K. is trying to take their title back. So we're gonna get the whole U.K. roster versus Champa or something. I mean, it would open up a lot more possibilities for matches, I guess, too. Yes. Uh, If they just have them defending again. Even if they have them fight somebody from NXT, you know. Like, say he fights against uh, somebody like um, maybe, you know, Roderick Strong or something. Or or Adam Cole or somebody, you know. It's different. And and he wins the the UK title. Yeah. You know, now now well, he's UK yeah. champion. Now it's something different for him. Now he's got to worry about the UK people coming, you know. True. So it, it opens up both shows, if you will, to be mm-hmm. fighting for the, the UK championship. I just think it's an interesting scenario. And, yeah, I do think Champa is going to win the title. And also, before, before we move on, because I just thought of this, uh, Timothy Thatcher has been teaming up with Tommaso Champa. Mm-hmm. And if Champa wins this title, it could make Thatcher jealous. And Thatcher, yeah, who's been out, be I guess of... he's injured or something, 
uh, could come back and be like, hey, I want to fight you. So then we get Champa versus Thatcher again, but this time for the UK championship, which I think would be pretty good. True. You know, because they fought and then they teamed up, they lost. I think Thatcher got injured. Uh, yeah, so or, so, or there's some. Sad. He might have had COVID either in storyline or yeah, in real know. life. He got injured, but one way or another, yeah, he gone. Yeah, he kind of disappeared, and that's so what they that used to cool fuel the storyline. Was Champa was saying that like right. Imperium took out, took him out. So right. Now so then he quote unquote took out to, Alexander yeah. Wolf from Imperium. So but, I mean, maybe that that is uh, all that, just a story. That would be a cool, whatever, you know, yeah. a cool segue, if you will, mm-hmm. into. Uh, a new rivalry for Champa. I think it'll be a power struggle, like for the, like I said, for them to try and get the title back to NXT UK, so, like trying to get it off of Champa, and he like right. won't let it and go. And they have to get know. somebody big to be uh, yeah. Champa, and then Walter could come to NXT. Who knows? We could see Walter yep. versus whoever wins the NXT I wanna title. I want to see Walter in NXT. You know? He's he's like the Brock Lesnar of NXT. I feel like yeah. Um, and finally, the main event of night one will be the NXT Women's Title Match. Io Shirai defending against Raquel Gonzalez. I think Raquel is going to win here. Yep. Um, like, I haven't personally seen much from her other than in the well, she was in the tag team with Dakota Kai, and they were a good tag team. I just haven't seen much. I guess her rivalry with Rhea Ripley is sort of what opened the door for this, right. and she did. she's like the new Rhea Ripley now Pretty in terms much. of, like, yeah. how, being the she's big, like the tough new powerhouse, woman that nobody yeah. can beat. And so, yeah, the big powerhouse. So I think it'd be good for her to win the title here. And then that could even lead to, like a like you said earlier with the jealousy angle with um, Timothy Thatcher and Champa. like maybe this is a jealousy with Dakota Kai and Raquel. Like True. Dakota's never held the women's title, and now that Raquel has it, is she going to sort of turn on her? Like, give me a title shot. I helped you win this. I've helped you get this far. And, right. you're just and it's because of me, me that you're shot. here. Yeah. Right. Something. That could be the I mean, story that, that plays. That's a story that plays out a lot. So I don't see yeah. why not. And, and it opens up a whole new possibility for right. other people. Because, you know, Io Shirai has been beating everybody. But now you see yeah, what Rock Helgen's all this yeah. can do, you know. so I think Io's held it for... Almost a year now, maybe. I think well, she she's won, held it. She since won it after WrestleMania. Wasn't it the last first year. takeover after me? I think something it was takeover like it was before SummerSlam like or something. It was like a month wasn't or it? maybe a couple weeks after WrestleMania, I think. Was yeah. It, so yeah. Was, was it takeover it. before SummerSlam? I think. Possibly. I don't know. Because Charlotte that held it. it was, Charlotte held it for a, a while. Before she it might have just it. been on a normal NXT um, show or the, something. Or, or that too, but I, I think it was leading up to SummerSlam. Either SummerSlam or Survivor Series, but yeah. I don't think Charlotte held it until so Survivor Eo's Series. So held it for a while. So. She's been beating everybody that she's kind of fought, like, you know, uh, right. Tony Storm. Raquel Gonzalez was part of the uh, Women's War Games match. Yeah. Uh, and her team won because she pinned Io Shirai. So that's kind of where this whole thing started. Uh, and then she kind of, True. you know, faded away in the title picture, you know, and then Raquel Gonzalez was fighting with Dakota Kai for the women's tag team titles uh, before before they were awarded the NXT women's tag team titles a few weeks ago. Uh, mm-hmm. And then they lost those. So now she can refocus on, because they got their shot after they won the women's Dusty Tag Team Classic to get to yeah. fight Nia and Shayna. Uh, she can now focus on singles. You know, she can still have Dakota Kai help her uh, if that's the storyline they want to go with, but uh, have her be, like, a singles competitor now instead of being part of a team. Uh, and, yeah. we, and we'll really get to see what Raquel is capable of doing. And she'll be, like, a big threat, too, on the roster. Yeah. Because like, there's nobody that's really her size, I don't think. Maybe, maybe yeah. Mercedes Martinez or something. That would if, be if good. She, yeah, Mercedes I mean, versus Raquel. Those two fighting each other. Because there's no, like, Shayna Baszler anymore. Right. There's no Rhea Ripley. So I, I think it'd be a while. She might hold the title for a while before somebody finally takes it right. from her. Uh, okay, so we'll move on to night two now. So the first match we have, uh, we, have we think will probably start, uh, will be the NXT Women's Tag Team Championship match. We have uh, Shotzi Blackheart and Ember Moon, or mm-hmm. Shember, as I like to call them, Shember. Uh, defending the Women's Black Tag Moon. Team Championships against The Way, which is uh, Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell. Um, I'm picking Shember to win. I don't think they just got the titles a few weeks ago on NXT. Don't think they're going to lose them yeah. yet. 
Um, and who knows, maybe they'll fight the way a few times. Maybe they'll move on and fight, you know, Casey Catanzaro and Caden Carter or some other women's team. Uh, but they definitely have more women's tag teams in NXT than they do in WWE. So they have a lot of opportunity here to do some good things with different women's mm-hmm. tag teams. But I think Shember's going to win. I'm c- I want to call them Black Moon because that just sounds cool. Hashtag Shember. But Leave the, in the comments, Black Moon or Shember. Which, yeah. one, which one do you like better? Um, but yeah, I think I agree with you. I think Ember and Shotzi are going to retain. They just won the titles, like yeah. I think maybe a month ago or a little less than that. So yeah. I don't think they're losing them just yet. They already have had one title defense too, but I and that was on an NXT episode. But I don't think they're ready to lose them just yet. And I do yeah. like them as a tag team. They're kind of unique. I do too. Yeah. It's two different sort of styles. Is like mission. And it's good to see together, Ember so. Moon doing something. Yeah, again she's actually since, doing something. Yeah, since she went up to the main roster, roster did nothing. You know, she, I mean, she's a former NXT Women's Champion. You figure she'd do something in the main roster. Well, she no. got injured for like a year, uh, and, a year and a half. She was in one something. of the Money in the Banks, I think, at one point, but then she didn't yeah. win, so she didn't do nothing. It, it so. is nice to see her, just like Finn Balor. You yeah. know, she's finally I mean, doing she, something. They get to do something. Going back to NXT. Everybody makes it seem like it's a bad thing to be on NXT, and it's not. As long as you're getting used and you, you know, you're in a storyline and you get to do something. Right. I guess it really doesn't matter. Uh, uh, so mo- moving yeah. on, we have the NXT Cruiserweight Title Unification Ladder Match, which is really going to be fun um, for both Cruiserweight titles because there are currently two Cruiserweight champions yes. because you know pandemic. Uh, so Jordan Devlin versus Santos Escobar. Now Santos Escobar has been the champion we've seen on NXT TV for a while. Jordan Devlin originally won the title a while ago when they actually moved the title to NXT, I think. He won, like, a tournament or something. I can't even remember. It was last year, probably at the beginning of 2020. I think they had, like, a triple threat match or something. Yeah, he won it. And it was a surprise because we were like, this guy from NXT UK just won the Cruiserweight title. Right. And then he didn't really get to, in a similar fashion to Sami Zayn having to sort of vacate the Intercontinental title. Right. Or they had to crown an interim Intercontinental champion. Which, and then Sami. The same thing happened here. Back. Jordan yeah. Devlin couldn't come across to America because of, you know, stuff. Yeah. So. Because of the pandemic. That which we will not mention. <laughs> yes. But, uh, so, he's technically been the Cruiserweight champion this whole time. I don't even think he was wrestling in NXT UK. I think they shut down the NXT UK. I mean, they, they called him the NXT UK Cruiserweight Champion, and he did have yeah, one like title have defense. Been, he must not have been wrestling in UK. Either. He had one yeah. title defense in, in NXT UK, uh, and obviously retained the title. And then the I guess title. they decided so, to just bring Maybe they figured out that they could bring him back now, so they decided right. to do this match. Well, and they probably figured there weren't enough people yeah. in UK to, I was to thinking, fight for the or, Cruiserweight I was title, hoping so. they would do something like this because I figured as soon as... It's just like when Sami Zayn came back right. and they and he won the Intercontinental title off of Jeff Hardy when Jeff was the champion. Or in was, a ladder was Jeff match. the champion? Yeah. Well, it was, it was a, a triple, triple threat match because yeah. AJ Styles was in it. Yeah, but it was... So the former champion came back and is, has a legitimate, like, I, right. I never lost this title. I never even gave it up. I'm still the champion. Right. Why are you known as the champ? You know, so that's kind of what they're doing here. And they're they fighting over yep. who the true cruiserweight champion is. And the fact that this ladder match was introduced by HBK, uh, Shawn Michaels, you know, because he slid the ladder into the ring and and pretty much said to make it a unification ladder match. True. Uh, the the storyline that you know with with him way back Just in that the day with the thing of the intercontinental the championship. Yeah unification match against Razor Ramon where Shawn Michaels uh, was in a, a ladder match against Razor uh, that which was a really good match and for him to be able to come out and be like here since this is a unification match use a ladder you know we will go against the biggest heel in the business in COVID-19 you know and and the scumbaggery of what happened with uh, Jordan Devlin and let him actually re-win the championship. Yeah, I think he's. Will. I think he's gonna uh, win to, this match. I think it's gonna be a really yeah. fun and exciting match. Probably one of the best on the whole show. Yep. Maybe just because it's two cruiserweight, <laughs> and they'll have enough time because this is this night two is on Peacock, so they'll probably have. Yeah. More than well, the they're gonna have time. to make like, it because the first night's yeah. on USA, so they only have the limited like two hours that they normally right. get for an NXT show, but on Peacock they might be able to put like three hours or something. So I feel like. 
some of these match or this match here in particular might be like really fun and exciting. Right. I think Jordan Devlin is going to win because I think we've seen enough of Santos Escobar as the champion. It'd be nice to have Jordan finally get his like yeah. chance to defend the title on NXT again. And it takes it takes off of that you know that cockiness of Santos Escobar. He acts like he can't be defeated, and uh, that he is all that, and that he runs the cruiserweight division. You know, and then you have Jordan Devlin come back and and beat him uh, to yeah. regain and also keep the cruiserweight championship. If that makes sense, because they're they're both <laughs> regain titles. slash um, keep. So yeah. I I too am picking Jordan Devlin. Uh, so next up we have the North American Championship match. We have the defending Johnny Gargano versus the winner of the Gauntlet match. Which, Which, for yeah. both of us, would end up being Dexter Loomis. We Dexter Loomis. Uh, and I think Loomis will win the title if I he is the well. one that goes on to fight Johnny Gargano. They've been building it up, this whole thing with Loomis, like, kidnapping Austin Theory. Yeah. Uh, so... I mean, that could play into it, too. Like, you could have... They'll probably end up having uh, Austin Theory interfere, maybe to help Johnny because he's mad that Dexter isn't his friend. Or to help or Dexter because he's brainwashed by Dexter Loomis. Well, that too, yeah. Uh, and but he could turn on Johnny Gargano. I um, think some kind of shenanigans are going to play out. Yeah. Neither, I I want Dexter to win, right. and I'm predicting that he's going to, but there's also the possibility that because of some outside interference that Johnny would retain... And then maybe they'll save the they'll do this match again somewhere down the line another takeover or whatever. Yeah. Um, but I, yeah, yeah, I think we're I both think saying Loomis, Loomis is going to win, even if it's by disqualification maybe. But I think he I think he should I win, think the, he title could win the title here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, even if Bronson Reed or L.A. Knight win the Gauntlet match, yeah, I would still pick one of them to win against Johnny. I think Gargano. there's a lot of fun scenarios that could play out. Um, with Loomis winning the North American title, right. like him versus Bronson Reed, or maybe even L.A. Knight could be his first challenger because of what because Theory. of what's been happening, because of what happened in the Gauntlet and the Battle Royal they did and everything right. else. Like maybe that would lead to L.A. Knight being his first challenger for the yeah. title after maybe Johnny gets a rematch or something. I mean, he's been here for a while, and I kind of wanted to see him win the NXT title. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'll be okay with him winning the North American title for now and then yeah. possibly moving on and facing whoever the champion is after TakeOver, uh, you know, someday for the NXT I, I want to see Dexter Loomis versus Karrion Cross. I think that would be a really creepy match. I'm glad we brought that up because the next, the next, next match, match is... is NXT title match. Uh, Finn Balor defending against Karrion Cross, the former champion. Right. Who had to surrender his title because of an injury? Um, I think Carrion is going to win it yep. back here. I think this is going to be a fun match too. I kind of was hoping they'd do Finn Balor versus Carrion Cross, yeah, rather than like someone else like Adam Cole or something, right? Because I feel like they sort of have not similar wrestling styles necessarily, but similar just like in terms of how they fight right. and like their will to win. And Carrion Cross is kind of like the fiend in NXT, sort of like people are sort of scared of him. But Finn's not. Right. We might even get an appearance from the demon Finn Balor. I mean, they did hint at that. They, on, yeah, it kind of hinted. If not so. in this one, then maybe a second one. Like right. if Finn gets his rematch, maybe we'll see the Demon King. Um, or if he maybe he gets his rematch which, and loses, and then realizes, well, if I can't beat yeah, him by myself, I have to turn into this. Maybe I need the demon to help me. You know, which and, I mean, we haven't seen him as the Demon King since right. he's on the main roster, and also. He, he did used to use it in NXT as well, like when he was originally there. Like I, I think Karrion Cross is going to win the title back because he never lost it, and now right. we'll get to see that proper run of him keeping it for several months in NXT before, I guess, once he loses it, he'll probably... He seems like the person that would be called up to the main roster right. after he wins it, just like Keith Lee was. Like Keith Lee lost it and hasn't to done Karrion anything. Cross and went yeah. up to the main roster. And Karrion Cross got yeah. injured in that match, couldn't defend it. And that's another reason... Yeah. They probably put Karrion and Cross versus Finn Balor because they both have that same thing. They both Finn Balor also had to, had, to, yeah. had an arm injury or whatever and had to surrender the Universal Championship uh, mm -hmm. when he became inaugural champion. So Finn Balor knows what it's like. Yeah, it's like the same thing. You know, kind to of. have to have that. And so when Karrion yeah. Cross versus Finn Balor, I'm also picking Karrion Cross to win. 
Uh, I think Balor's had the title long enough, and he. I don't even really think he was supposed to win it to begin with. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. they just it makes kind you of wonder who would have like back beaten, in NXT. If Karrion Cross had still been the champion right now, like I wonder who would have probably beaten him for it. Right. Uh, like I, I don't know, or who his challengers would have been, and so because he hasn't really done much. Since he came back, like he got in a bit of a rivalry with Santos Escobar for whatever yeah. reason, but now that he's fighting for the title and he'll probably win the title, right? Um, we could see a lot more feuds where Karrion Cross fits best is in the main event scene. Right. I think he'll be undefeated as champion for a while, not really lose any matches really. But. Right. And then we have finally the unsanctioned match between yes. Kyle O'Reilly and Adam Cole. I personally would have wanted to see this as maybe like a um, loser leaves NXT match because you sort of have that bit of thing where they're both like, I'm going to get rid of you. I'm going to do whatever it takes to get rid of you. So the best way to sort of like end this or end right. each other would be for one of them to end up having leave NXT. Right. And then of course go up to the main roster. If that were the case, I would pick Kyle O'Reilly to win and then Adam Cole leaves NXT. I think that would be a huge hit on NXT and it would cement Kyle O'Reilly as like what he has been saying he is kind of like he's a big he is a threat to the title and we would see that if he right. could beat someone like adam cole this is the first time at nxt we're seeing these two fight each other and i've heard the other two times like in the wrestling world in other promotions when they fought each other there's been they they've only fought matches. each other twice they were good matches but i think they each have one win over each other too so this could be which this is their big culmination but since it's just an unsanctioned match and it's not really like Nothing major is going to come out of this. Like, they'll probably just continue the feud. Right. Um, I'm saying Adam Cole is probably going to win. Maybe you get some kind of interference. Like, Roderick Strong has to kind of pick a side in all this, maybe. I know he kind of, like, quit on NXT or something. He said he was done with all maybe this. Maybe he'll be going up to the main roster. So, maybe he maybe that plays a factor into it. Like, who, would, who does Roderick Strong choose to side with? Who does he think right. is right in this? Like, who's really his friend that he wants to side with? I went kind of the same route thinking of somebody coming up to the main roster. However, I picked Kyle O'Reilly to win this match. Because I figured if if they were going to make this where... I mean, they're, they didn't announce that it's like Loser Leaves NXT. But they could still do a call-up, you know, yeah. at any point. So, I, I figured if Adam Cole would be the one to come up to the main roster, maybe he loses this match, kind of fades away, you know, off of the, the roster, and mm-hmm. then it gets sent up to the main roster where he debuts and fights somebody or does nothing like Damian See, Priest. That could happen, or I feel like, you know, if Adam Cole lost, he would right. probably want a rematch because he'd and, feel cheated or something. And here's but, here's another, another point, because you brought up, you know, Roderick Strong interfering. Uh, maybe somebody who really hasn't been here for all of this. Bobby Fish. Bobby Fish comes back yeah. from whatever void he fell into. <laughs> He uh, fell back and, into the pond. And, you know, he, he comes back and he's like, I don't know what's going on. I'm picking Kyle O'Reilly because I think it would be a great end to this storyline with mm-hmm. Undisputed Era. And even if he does have help from, you know, Bobby Fish yeah. or Roderick Strong, or if he just wins just regular. But, I mean, it's an unsanctioned match. So you know somebody's interfering in one way or another. Um, so there you go, guys. That, those were our predictions for NXT TakeOver, Stand and Deliver. We'd love to hear what you guys think as well. And uh, s- next week we'll be giving our um, predictions for WrestleMania nights one Yay. and two as well. So, yeah. that's you got a whole fun. week of wrestling next Woo! week. Um, yeah, we're all going to be exhausted. But if you're a wrestling fan, uh, stay tuned for that as well. Keep an eye out. Um, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one, everybody. Bye, guys. Subscribe.